Hello, so today I am back with another topic and that topic is very important for you that is stroke. So first, what is stroke? In stroke, it's a catastrophic disease where person gets suddenly paralyzed on one side. So the hand doesn't work, the leg doesn't work, the person may lose the speech, they may not be able to understand and sometimes the face also can be divided to one side. And this happens all of a sudden. And as you know, stroke is one of the leading causes of death as well as disability. Only the heart attack kills more people than stroke. But you know, by the time you get stroke, it may be too late. There are good treatments for stroke. But as you know, prevention is better than cure. So today I will focus how you can prevent stroke. Because if you can work on that and reduce your chances of getting stroke, nothing like it. So first I will look at the risk factors, what increases the risk of your stroke. In that there are something called as non-modifiable. One is the family history or the genetic risk factors. Obviously we cannot change our family history. Second is our age. So as our age increases, the risk of stroke also increases. And unfortunately you know that we cannot become younger. So let us not worry about them. You will be happy to note that 90% of risk factors are modifiable where you and I, we all can take action and reduce the risk. So in that, the number one is good sleep. You know, sleep is, good sleep is the best pill. People ask me, doctor, give me one pill which can reduce my risk of stroke. I tell them, sleep for seven hours. So once you sleep for seven hours without, and have a good quality of sleep, nothing like it. And also have a regular sleep schedule. So which means you fix a time, maybe 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. and then count 7 hours after that, 8 hours also is good and maintain that consistency. After sleep, what it is? Next is always exercise or physical activity. Because we know that sedentary lifestyle, when we sit for long time, whether in office or whether watching movies or whether browsing internet, all of these are sedentary activities where we just sit for long time. And as you know, sitting is the new smoking. So sitting is the biggest risk factor. So minimize the time that you sit. Office timing we cannot change, but in the office also every 30 to 40 minutes, get up for one or two minutes, move around and then come back. Nowadays offices we can have standing desks also where you can work and that can reduce the risk of uh, sedentary lifestyle. And then also try to move, you know, moving is our, we are meant for moving, we are social people. So fix up a time when, you know, we can exercise. 30 minutes, 40 minutes, brisk walking. Those of you who like running, you can run, cycling. There are so many th things we can do. And also along with that, also strength training. So we need to work on the muscles because if we lose muscles, what is called sarcopenia, again, that's a risk factor for stroke. So physical activity. The third point is the diet. So diet is always what we eat. It has impact on many things because the risk factors for stroke are commonest are diabetes, high cholesterol and high blood pressure. All these three things we can work on with a good diet. And good diet is nothing but taking lesser amount of carbohydrate and having good amount of protein in the diet. So anything which is rich in sugar like say cakes, chocolates and then you know nowadays we have soft drinks and uh, you know so all these things we have to minimize or if you can cut completely it's best. Other high carbohydrate foods like say rice, roti may not completely stop but reduce the quantity and then all of us are you know we don't take ad adequate protein. If you look at our plate, proteins are lacking. So those who are vegetarians, they have few options like paneer, tofu, they can increase and then if, if they are still if they are having less proteins, you can also use whey protein. But non-vegetarians, they have many options like eggs, chicken, fish or meat, all of these things are good. So increase the protein content. And then avoid what is called as ultra processed packaged foods. So whatever you get in the shops and they have an expiry of 6 months, 12 months or even longer, they add a lot of salt or different oils, uh, spices, sugar to increase the shelf life. And they are not good. They are all you know high in calories and they are not healthy. So try to minimize their consumption. So diet, exercise and sleep are the most important. If you are overweight or obese, Definitely you need to work on cutting down your weight because we need to have lower uh, normal body weight and uh, reduce the waist circumference if there is increased adiposity in the uh, stomach. Again, that's a risk factor. And then uh, look at the cholesterol levels. So we need to maintain normal cholesterol levels, 
normal triglycerides hdl should be also good so once the lipid profile is good again it's a good thing then two habits which are dangerous one is smoking smoking there is no role all the effects of smoking are bad for the heart as well as brain so uh, all of anyone who's smoking should quit alcohol also people say there is controversy but in my mind there is no controversy there are no good effects of alcohol those who are not consuming alcohol don't start uh, to drink those who are drinking try to reduce and finally we should quit because alcohol binges and moderate amount of alcohol consumption can increase the risk of stroke including ischemic and brain hemorrhage also so those two completely should be stopped and uh, then uh, coming to and also you should keep checking your uh, risk factors like check your blood sugar uh, blood pressure cholesterol because many of these things may not have any symptoms unless you get it tested you may not know that you are suffering from these and then you know if you have high bp or high sugar of course you need to work on the diet and exercise and give yourself two three months time to see whether you can maintain to normal levels or not but if they are not normal follow your doctor's advice and take medicines the medicines are not your enemies if you can take medicines and keep the sugar cholesterol and blood pressure normal it is going to reduce the risk of stroke so i hope you found this measures useful because if you follow these methods you can reduce the risk of stroke as much as by 80 to 90 percent and that's a big reduction because if you don't fall sick you know many people tell me doctor i don't like medicines i don't like hospitals i said yes good but you should also not like diseases because if you don't have diseases you won't need to come to doctors and hospitals so i hope you can take care of these factors and then reduce your risk of stroke and avoid becoming a patient i hope you liked it have a good day